Day two of Rally Estonia and nine more bruising stages lie in wait. A combination of tight tree-lined roads, fast flowing sections and of course the sequences of jumps and drop-offs that are so unique to Rally Estonia. Hometown hero Oik Tanak, who was hit with a five-minute penalty before the rally had even started, was down in 36th at the start of the event. By this morning, he'd worked his way back up to 11th. His aim today, to break into the top eight. Uh, yeah, the fast guys are coming from the behind now, so it will be challenging. In the fast, it's, uh, it's quite okay. It's just the junctions and things, you know, where it's difficult to get it stopped and get it going again, so... In the flow, if you can keep speed, I would say it's not too bad. Meanwhile, at the business end, Kale Rovampera, despite feeling he hadn't driven well, started the day with a stage win. No, oh, it was uh, the sh stage of the weekend for me so far. Now when there is line, I need to get used to the grip a bit. Um, I can drive much faster, so let's see what we can do. Stage 10 now featuring those big jumps. They are extremely hard to judge and with no flow it's easy to pick up damage. A proper test and while all of the WRC cars passed, the drivers weren't the biggest fans. From one ski jump to another ski jump, so it's, a, it's just a massive pain to, uh, to survive. So. A lot of jumps for sure, a lot of hard landings. Uh. Up front, Rov and Pera made it another stage win. His lead was now up to 6.6 .6 seconds over Newville. Stage 11 now, and Tanak hit his target. Back up into the top eight, but realistically, that's the best he can hope for now unless someone ahead of him runs into problems. On to the final stage of the morning loop, and Esa Pekalapi and Elvin Evans came into today separated by just 1.9 seconds in the fight for third. Incredibly, they headed back to midday service, still separated by just 1.9 seconds. Meanwhile, Thierry Neuville had been slowly slipping away from Rov and Pera, but that problem was doubled when he picked up a puncture on stage 12. No idea. It's close lighting. But nothing we can do, to be honest. Um, we carried on as good as we could. We did like in a half case with a puncture so not easy but uh, we didn't lose too much all that meant Rob and Perry, who had won every single stage in the morning was now leading the rally by 20.3 seconds and he didn't stop there the Finn carried on his assault into the afternoon winning stages 13 and 14 his lead was now up to 27.7 Further back in the fight for third, it was still game on. Evans absolutely on the limit, doing everything he could to reel in Lappy. After stage 14, the gap between them just 3.7 seconds. Yeah, I don't know, it's difficult in a stage like this. You know, it's cleaning a lot. Outside of the line is really slip, and even in the line, there's not a huge amount of grip in places. So I really tried to be as clean and obviously fast as possible, but let's see. The battle continued to rage and by the end of the day, Lappy threw caution to the wind to hang on to third place going into Sunday's action, but only by 5.6 seconds. Oh, I've been trying the whole afternoon to be honest. Uh, but yeah, it was a big disappointment on the last one. I, I really put a lot of effort and at the time wasn't really impressive, but at least against Evans on this one it's okay. Yeah. Up at the front though and leading Thierry Neuville by 33.6 seconds and winning every single stage of the day, Kale Rovampera, the untouchable. Yeah, for sure the feeling is nice. I, I have really enjoyed the afternoon especially, it has been really, really nice. Um, car is working well, it's, it's nice to drive these stages, these are my favourite ones of the whole calendar, so why wouldn't I be, be enjoying them on the full speed and uh, yeah, a lot of fans on the stage is also really, really cool there. Oh! Rally Estonia has given us some epic stage action. Surely Rov and Pera will seal the deal tomorrow, but can Lappy keep Evans at bay? Get your comments in. Tomorrow we crown a winner. Oh.